Hello and welcome back to Tammy's Antique Vintage Dolls and More. And I thought tonight before I hit the sack that I would show one, one more of my dolls. This is Baby Thumbelina from 1960s. And beside her she has a little friend. She's a rare doll. She was made in the year 62-63. And she's called Bouncing Baby Coos. Here she is. I've not shown her before. She sits on a shelf on the same shelf system that I have for uh, my Thumbelina doll. She's about the same height and everything, and I guess she was made just for the one year. Now you can see some similarities between them and yet some differences, especially in the mouth and nose area. But she's a very, a, a very cute little doll. Now I, I picked her up some years ago um, from uh, eBay. And um, she, she's about the same, about 20 inches, the same as what I think this one is. I think she's she's 20 inches as well, I think, or 18 inches. Might be a little, this uh, baby coos here um, might be a little bit bigger than, than her, but not by a whole great deal. And she's sitting in her nice little panty dress as well from um, one of my used store finds that I've got for her. And, um, but she's such a cute little thing. Um, I know I didn't pay a whole lot for her. It was under $50. And that's why I picked her up, because I just thought she was different. But um, not knowing that she was a very rare little girl. And um, I didn't know they only made her for one year, but lo and behold, when I was doing some research on her, that's what I found out about her. She was only made in the year 62, 63. And I thought, wow. So, but anyways, um, she's made by the Ideal Toy Cor Corporation, just like um, Thumbelina was. But anyways, I thought I'd share this with you and just put this up before I go to bed here. So, you know, another little interest of, of dolls, you know, that you can see the connection between the two here. So, you know, these nice, beautiful 60 dolls are just as, you know, gorgeous as ever. And, um, but she has her original body. Everything's original on her, like body-wise. Well, I can't show it too much. See, you can see her leg is sewing. There's her sewing of her leg and everything. She has the nice floppy little legs, the floppy little arms and everything. You can see her arms are sewing on. There, you know, I don't know, that must be a stain of some sort. She was played with. This is a played with doll, but, um, yeah, she's a cutie, though, all in, all the same. But didn't know she was that hard to find. Um, like I said, I only might have paid, I think when I looked her up, um, on my, when I keep all my, uh, how much I pay for things, I think it was like $30 for her, U.S. By the time I brought her in, I think it was like $50. Um, I didn't have to pay no duty on her or anything of that sort. It said no duty, um. But it did say um, thirty. It was thirty. I think like twenty-eight, twenty-nine dollars, something like thirty bucks American, fifty dollars. I had to put in. But anyways, it doesn't matter. She was around that, so I think I got a good deal on her. I don't see too many of them. I go looking for her once in a while just to see if there's any of her, like if, if there I can find any more of her. And she's very hard to find. So if you ever get a chance to pick up one of these little gals, if you are if you're into the Thumbelina type family, now she doesn't turn or twist or anything, but if you're into the Baby Coos family, which goes back I think to the 30s, uh, the 20s, 30s, the the Baby Coos start coming out um, till I don't know what um, when they finally stopped making. I don't know if this was the last one they made in the Coos family or um, ideal or not. I think it was. It was this. This was the last one. This is Bouncing Baby Coos. Now there might have been a couple more after her, but not many more. I don't think. And um, and then um, I think Thumbelina came out too during that time frame in the '60s as well. So um, you know these nice '60s dolls. Are, they they show very well even even today. So if you can get your hands on one, you know, nice to, they, they've got a nice show to them. But anyway, thought I'd share it to you with you. I've got some more dolls sitting I've never ever shown before. They're just sitting on some back shelves that, um, that just, you know, I need to get them out and start showing. But anyways, I thought since I had the Thumbelina still sitting on the table, I'd make one last little video and bring her out and um, show her off to everybody. You know, but um, she, she's a cutie. You know, I, I love her mouth. I just love that. It's almost like a little Gerber mouth, you know, but anyways, um, she's cute. But anyways, okay, have a good night, and we'll see you again. i got more videos coming. Bye-bye.